Hey everyone, welcome to Happy Endings. Happy Endings episode 9. We are here fed, peed, vacuumed. Do you get the um the... Oh, yep, I man, I love when I vacuum myself. Yeah. Do you get music and sound <laughs> effects queued up or are we going we No, going no, no. We're going without. I don't have any. So going bare back tonight. Bear Come back. on. Yeah, I I got to do that. I I've been busy, man. The whole playing with these forums things. Oh. Something that takes 20 minutes takes 2 days. But the beta version is up. By the way, did you guys, either of you, sign uh, sign in so that you can test it? These? No, I didn't get an email. Yeah, it on your Xbox. Was it like my Xbox? Something? Yeah, I, I'm trying to remember the name of the uh, website. Uh, don't say it because I don't want to have everybody hitting it right yeah. now. Because okay, um, well, you can just give it to us in chat. Hmm, yeah. I did right a Google there. search for it. Couldn't <clears> find it. Yeah, because it doesn't have any SEOs in it or anything. I just went there and there was nothing there. Oh wait, I added um, er to the end of that. Yeah, no, just yeah, and yeah. So we're probably a week away from uh, the assuming <laughs> that it transfers over easily because that was supposed to be super easy, and it took me four days to get it off of the test server on my my own personal, you know, like. We're using something called MAMP. If you have uh, um, uh, Windows, it's XAMP. <laughs> and you, bless you. It uh, You can essentially run a server on your own computer, so it's all local. So you can tear things up and blow it up and fix it and do stuff. And it's behind the scenes, so no one can see it but you. And then I uploaded it to a shadow server that we're beta testing right now just to uh, see if... Um, if the forums work under <laughs> real use circumstances. So as much as I love you guys and I do love you guys, but I want to keep the group kind of small just because if it breaks, I want to be able to not have to, you know, deal with a lot of crap with users and stuff. If I have to blow up the database, hopefully I won't have to blow up the database and just blow up the front end. But yeah. So I can't remember assuming you can switch WordPress over password was, it's not WordPress. Well, it's not because it's asking me to log into a... Uh, you went to that website that I just gave you in chat? Yeah, and then I scrolled down to the very bottom. No, no, no. Go to in. forums. Oh, okay. Go to the forums tab. Either way, I forgot my WordPress <laughs> password. I will... God damn it. There's too many passwords we have to remember. Yeah. Because there's no point in signing into WordPress because you're not going to... I mean, you put new stuff on the front page, but the front page is going to look more or less the same, at least for a little while until I start actually tearing up the front-end website. But right now, the point was to get the forums up so we could all sit, instead of making these incredibly long posts and huge discussions on Facebook, actually put them in our forums so we can all talk amongst ourselves. Cool. Hmm. Uh, Corey Wallace in the chat room says, hi guys, it's the weekly softcore porn. <laughs> Are you saying that yeah, we're no. softcore porn? No, we changed. We're, we're the all new happy game hounds. We're the happy game hounds. We're the happy, happy hounds. hounds. And Kelly, Kelly, uh, Mrs. Lefty Brown is in the chat room. Corey Wallace in the chat room. Black Sir Void, DC Wraith. <laughs> Diner Dash, Tor, baby. Tor Deweege. Hi, Tor. All the way from okay, Norway. Okay, so yeah, I want to, I want to bring up what I was going to bring up yesterday. Okay. And this is good because everyone can actually go and try this now because I did it. So if you go to Google and you type in the Xbox One is, the autocorrect will bring up terrible, ugly, a joke. But if you go to Bing and you type in the Xbox One is, the only autocorrect is amazing. No, I, I you know I checked in Google and it says the Xbox One is and my item is, oh, it's the autocorrect. All right, yeah, the Xbox One is release date. The Xbox <laughs> One is the Xbox One price. I'm not getting that. Really, you type in the Xbox One is yeah, and no. for me, it's terrible, ugly, a joke. Okay, on the front page, you just type in the. Yeah, well, like, yeah, Xbox One. Yeah, my, my choices are the Xbox One is the Xbox One, the Xbox One release date, the Xbox One price. No, type in the Xbox One is. Type in that is. Is terrible, ugly, a joke. Okay. Yeah. 
Now, now do that. Copy and put that into Bing. Okay. Bing. Pasting is amazing. <laughs> 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 that was a hilarious laugh. Sorry about the snorting. That's funny. Yeah. Oh, uh, that was uh, totally unrelated. Microsoft. Slim Whitman died today. Mm. Who's Slim Whitman? I don't know who Slim Whitman is. I heard the name. Oh, come on. Come on. I'm going to have to pull up some Slim Whitman. I, in fact, I've got Slim Whitman. Don't worry. Is that Don't Worry Be Happy? No. Don't. No, Slim Whitman. His his music was he had these like t television uh, uh, commercials and the late night commercials about his music. It, he's got this falsetto voice. He's got this black hair, dark black sideburns, and this mustache. And they used his music in Mars Attacks that it would make the Martians' heads explode. Oh, that guy. Yeah. The savior of the world. The savior of the world. He he is. No, no, no. Flash Gordon. <laughs> Flash. It's the savior of the world. Oh, he dun, is dun, invisible. Dun, 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 no, Flash dun, is the dun, savior dun, of multiple. Flash. <laughs> Save every one of us. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Vince Flynn also died today. Black Street Void says an amazing author. What did Vince Flynn write? I'm not familiar with him. The Pit and the Pendulum? I don't know. No. Blackstreet Void says, and if the NSA is listening by blowing up, she is not talking about what it sounds like she's talking about. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about messing up my site. Executing sure. parts of my site. Sure. You're Cutting its little head off. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, Kelly Brown, we were playing Diner Dash. We couldn't figure out what, when you get drinks, when you get the drink station and Diner Dash, you walk around with drinks in your hand and you can't do anything else. And uh, it's you, you look like the warning, we're Robinson, Dr. Smith. You look like the robot running around because you, can, you can't do anything. It's like you, you try to go put the drinks down the table and it won't let you. It was weird. Mm. It was, oh. Yeah. I'm hoping Xbox One fixes that. <laughs> All right. So since Why there are it? only a few of us in the chat room, I am going to put the name of the shadow site on there. Go ahead and go to it. Go under forums and you can sign up for the forums. Let me know how your experience is if you can sign up. I know Blacks for Void had an issue. Void, did you get that sorted? Because it wasn't sending a confirmation email. So I'm going to put it. went into my it junk mail. When I when I got my uh, confirmation, went into junk mail. Ah, so check your junk mail yeah. folder. All right, so I am sending it out in the chat room right now, and if you want to sign up for those forums, go right ahead. Whatever you write in there is probably not going to go into the real forums because the real forums are going to uh, not. I'm probably going to lose the database, and we so we won't keep these these posts. But right, pretty this much is confusing now. Register. It, just register and test it out. Use smileys, do polls, use every feature. Let me know what works, what doesn't work, if you have any problems with registration. Because when we roll this out, I don't want to have these issues. Mm. So far it looks okay. Yeah. Blacks for Void, what is your ISP that you used? Um to because it may be that there's issues with certain ISPs. Corey Wallace says, yep, check your junk. <laughs> <laughs> I do that every day. It's good. It's an important thing. Every man should check his junk every, every day. Every person should check the junk. Right. Yeah. It's important. You got to you gotta keep, you know, upkeep. And if you can't check your junk, get someone to check your junk for you. You may attach a pole to this thread. Yep. Got polls. Uh, I'm where, trying to work out how to do awards, so we can. There have should like be a poll. There should be most forms. You can set up a poll right in the forms. Where would I go to do a poll? Uh, you actually have to put it, do do in in like a a topic, and then there should be a little thing that says poll question mark, and you say yes, and then when you finish up whatever you're going to write about the poll, then it'll take you into a poll page. Oh. Uh. Yeah, so a lot of poll talk. Yeah, right. post thread preview post. 
preview post. I was trying to work a chat box in, but I couldn't work figure out. It was not uh, playing uh, nicely with with the the theme. I'm not figuring out this. Oh God, really? I don't know. I actually signed up. I wanted to do a any poll. trouble. We now take into the poll option. Holy cow! And I have to check into every twenty four hours. No, mm. you do not, and you can play used games on it. So, uh, uh, has everybody purchased um, Mount Your Friends? I know. Come on, people. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Nick had a glowing review of Mount Your Friends. It moved from Bucker Chuck to What Are You Playing? <laughs> that, yeah. It's, it's so amazing. It, it makes Home Run Challenge, like, doesn't even, like, register. It, it's so much better than Home Run Challenge. It is a super, super good buy for 80 points. And it's kind of funny that he went from Baby Maker Extreme, which I considered not... Eh, it was funny for a couple of minutes. And this is actually a really good game. Ke uh, uh, Kelly Brown says, I want to mount Nick. You can. It's multiplayer. Yeah. yeah. We're friends, we can mount each other. That's yes. Awesome. Mounting your friends is always multiplayer. And you can see his dangly schlong. Through oh, his banana yeah. hammock. Nice. Oh. It's it's very flexible. Very <laughs> like one of those uh, puppeteer guys. AC Race says, I almost voted for it on Steam Greenlight. Why didn't you? It's a really, really good game. Is it on Steam Greenlight? Is it? I got to check this out. Riveting radio. It is. I'm just hearing the noise out right now. It's kind of hot out. Yeah. So, um, yeah, State of Decay. New obsession. I really want to play it. Like, that's one of those games that I feel really bad that I download demo but never quite got to playing it. Yeah, it's... I really, really want to. The demo is the not show. that great. <laughs> you know, it does not really get you into how much of the game gets when the game gets really good it just kind of gives you it's very much a taste where you just kind of learn how to sneak up on zombies and and one hit them or bash their heads in with a with a two by four and uh you don't really get a whole lot out of it but the, when the game itself happens it's pretty freaking awesome um tor just put in a link for it in the steam community Mount Your Friends is so much fun. Yep, and it's on Steam Greenlight. I voted for it. <laughs> Corey, did, he said he used to have the gamer tag Tasty Dangler. Did they make you change that? <laughs> <laughs> the name is Tasty. Tasty Dangler. I like my martini shaker not stirred. All right, we'll see you guys next week then. Um, so what else is going on in uh, your okay. lives? I don't know. Now that Game of Thrones is over, it's like, what's... There's nothing on TV. What do I do with my life? Yeah. Yeah, Nurse Jackie just ended for me. I got nothing. Although, thankfully, Dexter comes on. Yeah. And I've been I've been uh, watching uh, a Netflix, um, Netflix on the Xbox, and I have to say, my Xbox is getting so slow. It takes like 10 minutes to boot it up and get it into Xbox. Me too. I, I remember me saying yeah. I need a new Xbox. I yeah. wonder if it's, they're, they're doing a big conversion. I don't know. Maybe they're in the middle of something. Their firmware is so bloated at this point. Yeah. Is anybody else in the chat room having a problem with the Xbox getting slower and slower? I actually, and slower. it's almost like booting up my computer. For some reason, my computer just has a ton of programs on it now that I load, for, especially for work. So I'll turn on my computer and I'll go off and I'll do something for five or ten minutes. That's what I do with Xbox now. Yeah. It's like Saturday night when I come home from China Jade and you guys are like, let's play. I like I run downstairs, put on I hit the center button to fire it up, and then I go off and I take my shoes off and do whatever I gotta do. And then by that time, I come down and it's you know it's almost ready to go. Yeah. Did um did you uh do we have a game that we wanna play this weekend? Hmm, Diner Dash? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> like tired, Josh. Mount awesome. your friends. Hmm. 
Mount your friends? <laughs> I want to mount some more people. I'll Fist mount boy, you anytime. This boy All says right. something, something about an update this week. I don't know. He didn't specify what game. Uh, he's, he's on the text line. 304-300-9889. What Xbox? What? Uh, yeah, if you're listening, piss boy, what, uh, what are we looking at? What game is updating? Actually, part of me kind of wants to go back to Far Cry 3. I don't know why. I could do Far, Far Cry 3. I, I, I want to decode yep. stuff. <laughs> the decoding stuff was really cool. Oh, he's working on it. Um... Yeah, we could do Far Cry. I, I did, it didn't sell at my, uh, whatchamacallit, my garage sale, so I still have it. I pulled it out of the mm-hmm. pile of games that went into the basement. He'd do it um, and, yeah, State of Decay, it, it really doesn't kick in until you move from the home base of the church mm-hmm. to the home base that's in town. But, it took me a while to kind of figure out what it was supposed to do. I was expecting it was going to start spoon feeding me the story and it would be obvious where I needed to go. But really your, your map is the the key to everything and then upgrading your home bases. And I just was making outposts like crazy, but they were all the houses right around where my outpost was or where my home base was when I was at the church. And I realized now that's not what I want to do. I want to make outposts other places so that when I send out scavengers to go get uh, resources from the houses around town, that they actually have an outpost that they can get to that's between the two so that they can recharge and rest and get supplies and stuff like that. That sounds like a pretty in-depth game for a, a live arcade game. It is game. a very – that's, that's – I why think when you would describe it, I was like, there's no way this is a $15 to $20 game the way you were going off. Because yeah. it sounded – I mean probably not as big as Dead Island. But I mean no. the way you were making it out, I was like, wait a sec. You, you, have, you haven't stopped talking you, and you're still going on about all the things you can do. Yeah, it's – it's and that, that's what I was expecting. I was expecting an Xbox One game. I was expecting – or an Xbox Live game. I was kind of sort of expecting it to more spoon feed you controls and what you're supposed to do and how to do things. And it doesn't do that. Once I started researching like, well, once I started looking up walkthrough and went to the wiki and kind of snooped around inside there where it very explicitly explains how things work, then you go, Oh, I get it. I see how this is supposed to work. And then you begin to realize, oh, this is more like a a, a retail title, not an XBLA game. Yeah, great, great, great game. Cannot wait yeah, for you so guys to stop running... talking so I can go play it. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I might go <laughs> check it out. I'm surprised you weren't playing it in the break. No, no, it takes, are you kidding? It takes like 10 minutes for my Xbox to boot up. Oh, no. that's true. I always watch, true. I watch... 10 minutes of uh, 30 Rock. Piss Boy said to clear uh, the cache, and that helped him out. Ah. Uh, no, I don't know. I did, I've done that before, and I forget how I did it. you got to go into... I don't know, also defragging set, your hard drive as well. It used to be something that I used when I was on the... I had, when I worked on PCs. Yeah, but how do you do that on the Xbox? Oh, on Xbox? I don't know. How do you clear a cache in, in Xbox? There is a way to do there it. There is a way because I remember doing it when I played Oblivion because uh, people had said that clearing the cache would make the game run faster because sometimes it would get slow. It would slow down. Mm-hmm. It was something like on startup, you hold like the triggers and then push A, B or something like that. Hey, Piss Boy said he's on Skype. Maybe he can come in and, and walk us through that. Okay. Clearing. It says to clear the system cache, press the guide button on your control controller, go to settings and system settings, select storage or memory, highlight any storage device, then press Y on your controller. It doesn't matter oh, which yeah. storage device you check, and the cache will be cleared for all storage devices. Select clear system cache. When prompted to the confirm storage device maintenance, select yes. Pretty easy. Yeah, I'll I'll try that because mine is just – it is such a freaking dog right you now. You would think though. You would think that when you shut down, it it would clear the cache. I mean isn't that how computers usually work? Mm, not necessarily. No. No, not at all. It's so that, so when you shut down, it, it sits in the cache? Yeah, that's what a cache is. It sits there waiting mm. for you. 
slowing down your computer. It, I have <laughs> never, never cleared my cache. So if that's the case, then that very, mel- very well may be with this my computer. Yeah, on oh, the Xbox. Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing. Yep. Yeah, he said it's on the memory setting. Hmm. Yep, under... I, I yes. Out. Yeah, because it, it, that thing spins and spins and spins. And sometimes I, I wonder if you're even going to sign in, you know? Yeah, yeah. Hi, Jason Webb. He says, hi, Edie. Just put a post in the forums. Awesome. Thank you. Like I said, I make write long stuff, you know, say anything you like and just use as many of the features. Tons of smileys, polls. Don't forget to vote in polls. Yeah, you can if also you do see colors. A poll. Yeah, play with the colors. I, I just need everybody to kind of pl- What play. is kind of weird is that when you're writing your post and you do, do something like uh color or italics or anything like that it sticks the html into the post yes so that when you're looking at it you see like the you know brackets i and close brackets things like that so you see all the html code right but mo- a lot of forms have that that's i'm yeah. not completely unfamiliar with that this is okay not the only one i don't does use that. many forms but that was just kind of yep. weird but yeah other than that Things work. Yeah, I was able to put the dog up there, no problem. Able to hack up a, a um, logo. So the logo it looks good. It looks good. Yeah. looks good. Pretty amazing. I have learned so much, so much in the last three weeks about HTML, and oh, I didn't even know what Apache was, much less PHP or SQL, and now I know what these are, and it's like. It's like Alice looking down the rabbit hole and realizing how deep it is. Like before I didn't even know a rabbit hole was there. Now I see the rabbit hole and I can see how deep it is and I know that I want to dive into it. Giggity. giggity. What? Giggity. Giggity. (laughs) It's a very deep hole. Some of those tunnels are pretty deep. I feel like a hot dog thrown down a hallway. (laughs) Feeding a whale a (laughs) (laughs) tic-tac. So, uh, so let's see what else is going on. Uh, nah, I feel like fourteen-year-old girls talking on the phone right now. How are you? What you want? Uh, yeah, I know. See, now the Game of Thrones and it, it's like I don't know what to talk about anymore. Yeah, I tried to. Uh, let me see. I put in a picture. I don't know if it worked. See if on the forums. If anybody in the chat rooms at the forums, see if that picture come out. In the introduction thread. Uh, okay, we'll see if that works. So, um, let's take a look at the news just for giggles. See if anything else is is going on. Because we what is Oricon reactor? That's hey, yeah. Warframe's AC rays. What Warframe's supposed to come to PS4? I was uh, yeah. I was watching something on on my Roku. I don't know if it was Giant Bomb or if it was IGN. One of those. And I was watching an interview with somebody that was uh, talking about Warframe coming to PS4. Warframe something for, uh, it's a free to play on Steam, and it's going to be free to play on PS4. It's it's kind of like a, a Halo meets a Mass Effect three. You just run around shooting things in a space age world, and I haven't figured out what what you're supposed to do because every time you play, you're with three other strangers, and all they do is run ahead of you and shoot everything. So there's really no exploring or anything because you're you're constantly trying to keep up with them and just shoot people. But if you know if that could be fun playing with some friends and trying to like figure out what's going on in the game, because I have yet to figure out what I'm doing as I can just keep up with my teammates and, and shoot everything that moves. Right. But but it's it's not a bad free to play game, and I like how that that's coming to PS4. Yeah, I downloaded the um. That Dust 514, the shooter that connects oh, to the EVE Online. Really? Right. I haven't actually played it yet, but I did download that because that's a free-to-play shooter. And I'm, I'm interested to check that out, see what it's like. Here's a bit of news. We actually mentioned this in the um, 
Game Hound's regular show, True. but we might as well bring it out here. Classy goalie. Super it's classy. Freaker. It's it's we're wide open here. <laughs> Burp and fight radio. Okay, there's no edits in here, so there's no sense of me going off, right? That's what this this is Lucy Goosey, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. You, you can't, How do you get more Lucy Goosey than a Game Hound show other than, you know, eating and burping? All right, so the uh, the thing we discussed, um, somebody kind of cracked open some of the code that came through on the last Steam update and noticed in there that it says stuff about um, there possibly being a um, game sharing on Steam. They found some code that says, just so you know, your games are currently in use by owner. Playing now will send borrower a notice that it's time to quit. This and then another one that says uh, this shared game is currently unavailable. Please try again later or buy this game for your own library. So that sounds very much like the Xbox One game sharing. How freaking excited would you be if Steam had game sharing so I could play your games, you could play my games? Yeah, that'd be fun because the thing with Steam is I don't play a lot on Steam. No, I don't I, either. I so the chances of a conflict coming up would be l- little to none right you you know because we you know xbox i can ps4 i can see you sit on the couch you spend probably more time sitting on the couch playing those than you would uh sit in front of a pc or at least i do where my pc set up kind of at the bar and i'm sitting on a bar chair playing it it gets kind of uncomfortable after a half hour mm-hmm I don't know. I I'm uh, I don't like really. It's I, I'm with you. I like to sit on my couch, and my computer is not on my couch. But by the same token, if I could play a bunch of games that I haven't paid for, like if I could play all Nick's games, I would probably yeah. do it a lot more because you have a much bigger list. But it seems like it would end up creating this um, unfair relationship. Because Nick would be playing all these games, buying all these games, and I would just be playing them. Yeah, but I mean that that imbalance kind of works in the real world too. If you buy a bunch of games from people, true. And I mean that's just kind of that. It's an acknowledged fault that I'll admit with myself that I have a tendency to buy more games on Steam than I play. Yeah, it's a dollar. It's like three dollars. Like today, Mark of the Ninja is three dollars on Steam. Three seventy five. I've played it and beaten it for Xbox. Yeah, and the new Humble Bundles out too. Steam. Steam. Did you know that the new Humble Bundles out? Oh no, what's in it? Uh, Frozen Synapse. Anything good? Oh, I've got actually. I've got a gift version of that on Steam. Uh, Aquaria, Fractal, Oregon Trail Director's Cut. Stealth Bastard Iron. Deluxe and Pulse, and it looks like they're Android games. These might be mobile mobile games. Mm. I think I've played most of those. Okay, I was just reading in the forums, and someone had a good good point. <laughs> what is more? What, what is real and what is fake out of this list yeah. that I'm about to give you? Okay, the Loch Ness monster, fake. Bigfoot, fake. Real. The female orgasm, fake. Or, real, or Bioshock Infinite DLC. <laughs> <laughs> what on that list do you have a better chance of finding? Female orgasm. Hmm. <laughs> why? Why is why is a female orgasm considered a mythical creature? Just because you guys can't do it. <laughs> Oh, Nick, oh. Nick, oh, shot across the bow. <laughs> Clearly it's, doesn't exist. I've never seen one, so it doesn't exist. Well, mm. you know. You guys take too long. Uh, it's like what eating I mean? an ice cream. It's the difference between eating an ice cream and setting off a firework. <laughs> <laughs> we like to eat our ice cream slowly. <laughs> but the game's on, you know. <laughs> And it melts, and the cone's going everywhere. And uh, <laughs> yeah, but there's little little nugget of chocolate at the bottom. <laughs> oh, the little gumball at the bottom? I just yeah. looked at the <laughs> Oh, man. That is the best part. Mm. Oh, Piss Boy, says, Piss Boy says he's found it. <laughs> <laughs> Which so one? The DLC? Bioshock DLC. <laughs> oh. Either that or Bigfoot. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Uh, the female orgasm now has a new name. It's called the Bigfoot. 
It's called DLC. <laughs> That's true. It's called Bioshock Infinite DLC. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Um, I guess all of this humble bundle all looks like these must be all mobiles because they're talking about them being Android versions. So hmm. yeah, bummer. They did just... like a book humble bundle at one point, which was interesting. Yeah. I'm surprised they don't do more things like that. I I think that um, the success of the Humble Bundle is m- making it more... It's kind of like Kickstarter kind of started out the whole crowdfunding thing, and now there are other crowdfunding sources, you know, s- um, locations that are starting to crop up. Um, mm-hmm. The, the in Humble Bundle kind of started it out, and they realized what a huge, huge, huge success it is for everybody. And so I think that People are starting to get the idea of, oh, hey, you can give this stuff away for free, and it's a good thing. And Tor says they also do work for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Good to know. Oh, you know what I want? Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I really, really, really want Octodad. (laughs) Yes, yes. That was that was like one of the uh, the straws on the camel's back when that was announced at PS4, and that along with uh, what's that uh, the Skyrim Online, yeah. Elder Scrolls Online, uh, it's just everything's just it's it's just candy canes and gumdrops for PS4 right now. Right. It's scary. It's scary. It is. It's it's scary how good PS4 looks right now. Yeah. Well, it's it's a long ways off. There's definitely going to be some stuff. I am interested now that Microsoft has said the price is 60 bucks at least for first party games. That's the top. I'm really wonder, wondering what um PlayStation's games are going to be. I think, I think they said 60. 60. Have yeah. they already yeah. said 60 as well? I'm pretty sure. Are you sure? I, yeah, PS4 PS4 game price. Uh, if PS4 games only cost sixty, first party but... PS4 games pricing confirmed at fifty nine ninety nine. Yep, yeah, oh, there you so go. They're less, they're less than Xbox by a penny. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, you are such she a hater! I'm... You are such a hater right oh, now. Who, who who was it in the? Was it Patrick on on uh, on the Facebook page? And he was just, uh, I'll have to go check it out. But he was like, how much high are you going to keep piling on? I'm gonna, I said, I'm going to keep piling as high as I can pile it. <laughs> One penny? <laughs> I don't care, man. Just check check PS4. If I buy 600 games. Jason Webb says, that. do I think that Octodad will have a touchpad option? That would be hmm. awesome if it did. Well, remember, like the touchpad is really small on the PS4 controller. Yeah, it's probably not. But it would be interesting if they incorporated. But honestly, the whole Octodad thing with the the way that Octodad works is it's two buttons. It's only two buttons. It's no, it wasn't. Yeah. Well, see, it's weird. Like, I'm curious how it works with the controller because that game felt so integrated with the mouse. Right, but it's like you you moved uh, left side with your left button on the mouse and moved it, and right side with the right button of your mouse and moved it. And that works perfectly with thumbsticks because you could just be moving your left stick and your right stick. But then how do you go up and down? Because that was on the wheel on the mouse and that felt really, really good. Mm, that's a good question. Don't know. I, I'm, I'm just curious. I, I'm really excited to see how they translate that because, yeah, that was such a, a fun, stupid <laughs> game. And it's it's nice to see... A bunch of guys who are kind of college friends all of a sudden coming up with this idea and just, I just have this image of them being in a dorm room, you know, like, oh, yeah. let's work on this. Duh, this is just for fun. And then somebody says, oh, let's not put the octo, let's not put the octopus inside of the, um, the armor. Let's put him not at all in any armor. Just make him an octopus. He's got no bones. And next thing you know, they're now going to be a featured game on iOS on uh, PlayStation 4. How rags to riches is that? But it also says a lot about how PlayStation and Sony are really interested in investing in the people with good ideas for tomorrow. I think think that's also the importance of their 
uh, the ability to self-publish on PlayStation. Right. Because then you could get a whole bunch of weird uh, indie games on there. Chris Jones wants to know what game we're talking about. Octodad, the dadliest Octodad, catch. Dad, dadliest catch. Yep. We played it at PAX when it was just like literally a little indie. And I, I just, mm-hmm. the fact that Octodad was there, I just know that what it was, was there were Sony executives in jeans and a t-shirt wandering around PAX looking for hot games in the backside. Not the front side where all the big games were, but along the backsides is independent game avenue. And yeah. just kind of playing game after game after game, trying to say, hmm, what are the ones that we think we can bring to our, our console? And what an like, amazing thing that would be if PAX actually became a place where a cons- a major console company would hunt for new games. How insane. huge would that be that you would be able to see these games before they got discovered? You know how huge it would be? We wouldn't be allowed to go. <laughs> No, that's one thing I will know about PAX. I'm E4, everybody. (laughs) I'd be E1. You're not allowed. (laughs) Um, No, that's the thing I love about PAX is I know that that will never happen with PAX. It just goes entirely against their whole ethos. The the Penny Arcade guys would never let that happen. It also seems like that may be a good place to find a game because you can judge how popular it is based on the crowds. Right. Right. So you kind of get a sense of how the reception something might be before you invest in it. Right. Because we knew that that Octodad was something special just before we even walked up to it. Because everybody was standing around watching it and laughing their asses off. Mm -hmm. Not just the people who were playing it, but the people standing around were watching and laughing. And it was like, oh, hey, there's something interesting going on over there. It's really easy to find the winners. And I'm curious how many of the games that we saw there will be coming to PS4 because uh, one that people haven't made a big deal a big deal about is called Contrast, but it's one of the ones that I was really interested in at PAX, and it's like this platformer where you're in this 3D world and then you can kind of flatten it and run across shadows mm-hmm. and like platform on shadows and then jump out of the shadows into the world, and it's got a real cool style for it. And I read that it's also going to come out on the PS4 by launch. And that's really interesting because when I saw Contrast at PAX, I was like, yes, this is one of the games that I have Steam for. You know, this kind of random, cool, small indie game. This is why I own Steam. This is why I play on the computer a lot. And to think that if all those games would be coming to PlayStation, that's, that's a real cool idea, a real cool potential. Mhm. Yeah. It's a it's just it's neat that that mm-hmm. Sony seems to be going to where the gamers are whereas Microsoft doesn't. Well also the benefit is be. that um with the self publishing that means that anything that comes out on PC might also come out to PlayStation faster even if it comes out on Xbox as well later on the need to find a publisher uh, means it might take a longer time. Like one of the games I just bought on Steam because it was on sale is this like kind of cyberpunk RPG called Mars Warlogs. And I know that that is coming out on PSN and Xbox later. Like they've advertised, hey, we're coming out on these other consoles later, but we're on PC first. And it seems interesting to me that I wouldn't have to wait as long if they could sell publish on a console because that would just take away one of the big hurdles of, of being on a console. Right. In other completely unrelated news, I went to my mailbox last week and came across a game developer magazine with a black cover that says game over. Really? Last issue of game developer magazine already on shelves or in mailboxes right now. Yeah, the last one, the last one, the last one, or the, just like the most recent? The last one. So they're done? They're done. Huh. And of course, every game developer magazine that's ever come to this house has come in in pristine condition. This one looks like it got run over and torn up. It's all the, co- like the pages are all torn and it just looks like it went through a ringer. So, but it was an interesting, it's a last episode, uh, last, uh, uh, 
ar- uh, article, last uh, um, issue, because they kind of do a um, a recap and talking about you know post post mortem of what they did right and what they did wrong, and it was a really really interesting article about kind of the inner workings of Game Developer Magazine about how they always made a profit. But they didn't make enough profit, and their mistakes about how they didn't really capitalize on the, huh. <coughs> excuse me, on advertising like they should have. Um, they actually didn't even have a full time advertising person until, like, just this year, or you know, like a year ago. And kind of the inner workings of um, media when it's owned by a bunch of different organizations, and they all have different. Not a bunch of different organizations, but one organization that has a bunch of different magazines. And so they're packaging stuff up as deals to advertisers and how it sometimes screws the smaller of the magazines. Um, just kind of stories of from back in the day until today about how things changed and the way of print media, especially when it comes to gaming. It's just, it was really, really sad. And then a couple of things that they pointed out that I realized I contributed that the editor said, Whenever he'd introduced himself as editor in chief of of Game Developer Magazine, he'd be like, "Oh man, I love that magazine. I, or I I get that magazine. I never read it, but I get it." <laughs> and that was kind of the thing. It's like, and it's exactly what it was for me. Is that I'd get a Game Developer Magazine and I'd kind of look at the cover and maybe like thumb through the papers at pages if I was lucky. Sometimes it just went right into the trash. And I feel so a little then guilty. Why'd you get it? Is it part of a bundle? Um, it, I would get it for free. Because uh, I went to GDC. Ah. Uh. Yep. So I was, actually, it was because I was, it actually looks like it's, it still thinks that I'm part of Platform Nation. So I was getting, I think that's probably when I went to GDC and as Platform Nation. And last time. And uh, uh, so I was still on their mailing list. And so they were sending these out for free. And now it's it's a very good cover because i didn't even realize they were going out of business until i saw the the cover and i'm like wow that's an interesting cover and then i started saying is this does this really mean gd game developer magazine's out it's like yeah so no more game developer magazine it was interesting most of the stuff was over the top of my head anyway mm. Mm. Mm, it still stinks yeah it does i guess at least people still have gamma sutra yeah well Ga- is gamma sutra really about for game developers, yeah, there's a there's an aspect of it that is right, and then this thing was straight out from game developers. I mean, I'm trying to find an article that I t- read it to Kevin, and it's like the first sentence makes is, is fine, and then the second sentence was like I have no freaking <laughs> clue what that person like, just said. <laughs> that it's like okay, I could do this. I could be a game. To- nope. Trying to find that article, I'll find it. A dirty, it's called Dirty Game Dev Tricks, where essentially they had to do a fix and just tr- did something really horrible and dirty, but it worked. I think one of the best stories I ever heard about that, I think it was an article on Gama Sutra. This one guy was saying how he made this game, it was like maybe an old Wing Commander game or something, mm-hmm. and every time people exited, they'd get like this warning message, like the it would crash. But, like, it didn't matter because they'd exited the game. Right. And it's, like, every single time. And he couldn't fix it. He couldn't figure, like, I can't get rid of this warning message. What the hell? So he changed it. And he changed the text in the message to say, thanks for playing. (laughs) So, yeah, that's a dirty game fix. Yeah, this one was uh, Crouching RSX Hidden Treasure Assets from Joe Valenzuela, Insomniac Games. He said, this trick was on the PS3. We on the Insomniac's engine team had some textures that we wanted distributed with our engine tools release. Okay, I understand that. There were things like noise textures and source input for the full screen filter effects. Okay. For some unimportant reasons, we didn't want to distribute these as actual asset files, so instead we converted them to binary arrays and compiled them into the executable. Uh... (laughs) <laughs> there was a downside, okay. though. We wanted these to be a different chunk of, me- a chunk of memory, RSX visible, so we would end up copying them out and just wasting memory for the source. What the oh, f- obviously. Obviously. 
<laughs> that is Game Developing Magazine for fucking game developers. I don't know what's so hard to understand. About that. <laughs> R- I mean, you don't know what RTX stands for? RSX? Yes, RSX. That's what I said. Yeah, my RSX has been bit humped. I don't know. RSX random, visible. Random speed accessible. The PS3 tool chain had a link feature to put certain sections in RSX memory, but it required using one megabyte pages. And in our case, that would have wasted 700K. Oh, for God's sake, really? <laughs> Instead, we added a new data section in the executable that aliased the BSS, the BSS alias or the Balias section. We had something like three megabytes of BSS on our final builds, so there was more than enough space to hide some texture assets. We ran some code early as we could in the CRT initialization to initialize the destination memory, copy the assets out, and then reinitialize the BSS to zero. <laughs> I could do that if I wanted to. <laughs> on my head. Yeah, it makes you realize you don't know shit about making games. You really don't. <laughs> You really think we're all hot and awesome because we understand what SQL does now. <laughs> yeah, at some point, programming is like magic. Yeah, yeah. and Type in stuff and stuff appears on screen. Right. And, and it's like, how did you do that? And it's an inexact. You think, oh, it's computers. They're exact. And that's the thing is they're so exact that they literally take things so seriously. They that that you could have bugs in there that you cannot fucking find because you're human and you fucked up. I had that with the forums. <gasps> oh, there was a horrible, horrible moment. That cold trickle down the back down the center of your back when you realized that you've <laughs> got a bug in there and you there's no fucking way to find it except to read every bit of code for the entire website. Ooh. Is it wouldn't load? And we couldn't figure out why it wouldn't load. It would load just fine on my Mac. But then we uploaded it to the server, which is a Linux server, and it wouldn't load. And I was trying to, it's like, but it's running fine on my computer. And so I started like, why won't load on, why load on map won't load on server. And it came up to the only thing, and Kevin was, you know, hanging out behind me, re- stretching his back. And we're kind of debating on like, what could it be? What could it be? And I came across this page that says, yes, I had this problem. And fortunately, I was able to find it because what it was is that it, it's a matter of case sensitivity. And Kevin goes, oh, fuck. That's exactly what it is. It's the only thing it could be because it's acting exactly the way it would. The Macs are not case sensitive. Linux is case sensitive. So somewhere you have spelled something with a capital letter that you shouldn't have done. And I'm like, huh. you mean like Game Hounds? And he's like, exactly like Game Hounds. Mm. You have either capitalized the G or the H. But that's not to say for certain that could it be. It could be anything, anything in there that's got a capital letter. Oh, fuck me. But we were able to find it, fortunately. And it was, yeah, I capitalized Game Hounds. And that was nice. Yeah, and, but it took me a, a, just a lot of just trial and error and trial and error and trial and error to try to find it. But... Yeah, it's little stuff like that that you realize, oh, computers are, what you put in is what you get out. That's absolutely true. <laughs> and that's what makes everything, it should be easy. Just pop it in the from your computer onto the Linux server. It should be easy. Nope. So, um, so what, uh, what are your plans for this week? Uh, have we made a decision about Saturday? I don't think we have. No, we could do. Nick, what's going anything. on? You keep turning off your headset and it goes I hear music in the in background. And really? Out. Yeah, my, my brother's downstairs playing guitar, really. That's all right. Let your brother play guitar. It's better than clunk in, clunk out. Okay. It was actually relaxing. Like that? Kind of yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I yeah. felt like I was like getting uh, acupuncture or something. That's kind of the music it sounded like. <laughs> okay. He's, he's trying to learn how to play the, uh, the tribute to the greatest song in the world by. Oh, what's the American band that Jack Black? Oh, uh, Tenacious, Tenacious D. D. Yeah. Have you heard uh, the the tribute to the greatest song in yes. the world? Yes. Yes. Yeah. He's he's playing that. <laughs> Have you got him a uh, Rocksmith yet? No. Rocksmith. This the new Rocksmith, the 2014 edition. The 
looks so cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. AC Wraith says, my 63-year-old mother liked the pictures in games. So he says, uh, I almost feel bad for getting game developer for, for free. Then I remember I bought their outdated collection CD for almost, over $100. My 63-year-old mother liked the, the, the pictures. Seriously, she liked the ads. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, um, well, I hate to make it a short show, but there's just not shit going on this week. It's a... Yeah, just low a, energy week, dudes. Yeah, well, after last week, and it's still like I say, you're still seeing the dust settle. I mean, every time I get online, there's a an article somewhere that's that's saying, oh, oh Xbox is the way to go, and you know, they, they reword everything, and then you get someone else saying, no, oh, it's still PlayStation, still the winner, and yeah. you know, you don't know what to believe. And Mass Effect Four to share core systems with Next Dragon Age. I saw that. I. It's just basically them saying, hey, the stuff we do for Dragon Age, we'll probably do in Mass Effect 4, There's going to be a Mass Effect 4? Well, of course there's going to be a Mass Effect 4. Really? I just... Well, it's not going to be Shepard's story, but it's probably going to be another game set in the Mass Effect universe. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess it's kind of turning into Halo. <laughs> Halo for the Xbox. Well, I guess Halo is for the Xbox, but, you know, that universe that the story becomes part of the story in the universe except yeah. master chief doesn't die yeah yeah i don't know i think that that might have been a mistake for them killing off shepherd no i don't no no uh oh to... you just wrecked it <laughs> oh, shepherd dies bonk 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 i'm banging my head against the <laughs> microphone oh <laughs> really yeah. really I haven't finished it yet. I I think I, I think haven't started more... it yet, but I haven't finished it. Yet. <laughs> You're such a dick. I think more video game heroes need to die. Oh, you just tucked it up everyone's collective asses. Really? Not really. I mean, the game is fairly <laughs> old. <laughs> Those two words, Shepherd dies. <laughs> how about we? How many oh, other games can we spoil like that? Someone somewhere is. <laughs> <laughs> He's going, damn you, you've wrecked Mass Effect. What is our moratorium? What is our, our, our point where we don't have to worry about spoilers? We, we actually, Did we decide we that? A, a whole show to that one time, didn't we? Didn't yeah. we say it was yeah. one year? Was it one year? Yeah, so was, but at the same what? time, like, I'd feel bad spoiling. Look. See, this is the thing. Like, now that you talk about characters dying, it's like, well, now if I mention any type of game, uh, well, I think. That I think that spoilers one year is the blanket. But if you say, I haven't, don't wreck it for me. I haven't seen Sixth Sense. Please, I haven't, don't know the ending now. Please don't wreck it for me. Then you should respect that. Yeah, yeah, yeah if you're talking yeah. to somebody about it, you know. I guess it also depends on the game. Like if the ending, it can be spoiled, but I feel like it's a real great ending, then I'd feel, I wouldn't, I'd go out of my way not to spoil it. Right. Like, I'd want someone to just have that experience fresh. Yeah. But if it's an okay ending, then I wouldn't... I'd feel less bad spoiling it. I guess the, it. the statute of limitations would be shorter. But that's that's kind of weird because then it becomes a subjective thing. I guess it's always a subjective thing. Mm-hmm. Like, no one gives a shit if you spoil Aliens, Colonial Marines. What is the end of Aliens, Colonial Marines? I don't know. I didn't beat it. <laughs> Could you finish huh? it? See, that I would be almost a public service if you spoil it. No, do you, do you know how to spoil Aliens, Colonial Marines? Huh. You boot it up. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you game fly that? Right, you didn't buy it. Yeah, I game fly it. God, because I, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to buy it. Me too. Me too. It's like you, you, you just want to see the train wreck. Now, see, there's a, where the Xbox One thing would make sense. If you had Aliens Colonial Marines available to 10 of your friends, I think that would be awesome because then we wouldn't have to buy it. Yeah, yeah. and then you'd, and then you'd find all, all 10 of your friends not on your friends list anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Like, you made so us awesome. play this game. That's true, and it's a, you, have, you can designate what your shared list is, so you just put Aliens Colonial Marines as the only thing on yeah. your shared list. <laughs> oh, that'd be, that'd be so great. That'd be so one way of you. Everybody's got all these cool games. You get Aliens, Colonial Marines. <laughs> oh, wow, it is now $30. Wow, $30. Stop turning off your mindset. God damn it, Nick. Dick. 
Where are you guys? Gully? I'm here. All right. Uh, aliens, Colonial Marines, 30 bucks. I wouldn't pay 30 bucks for that. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I'm hearing not. Yeah. Oh, we had to take a call. Gully doesn't turn off his headset when he takes a call. No. <laughs> I don't. Yes. He does he burps and farts. Well, and during, during happy endings, I don't, because that that's that's just loosey goosey. But during the right, regular during show, during the regular show, obviously you can't. Yeah. So if, if we're in, uh, yeah, yeah. So just let's just be clear. Yeah. Okay, let's be clear. Oh, let's... oh, I forgot to share. Um, I got everything kind of sort of when I first started to get things working and got over the the hump of the broken site and getting everything updated properly and it's the first steps towards getting the forms up um i celebrated by buying myself a new macbook pro <laughs> Jesus it's holy cow yeah no it's awesome oh my god because my old macbook is old oh it's so old and it's, no, it's what was it like a uh oh <laughs> 12 yeah oh 12 no it's it's probably well this is the laptop that was my desktop so it's this is before i i, this, I built the hackintosh to replace it so this was the laptop that used to run game hounds from the beginning so it's got to be well game hounds is five years old it's probably eight six or eight years old so it's an old laptop, and it's big, and it's heavy, and it's really hard to take around to things like um, uh, packs and other events like that. So we've been, I've been eyeing it, and now that I'm actually doing a lot of stuff where I'm tra traveling back and forth with it, with my website on it, it's becoming an issue. So it was like, all right, we we've got the the tax return, and I got the check from. Jet blue. It's like, all right, yeah, let's just get the new laptop. So we got a new one. And it's nice. pretty. And it's yeah. light. And it's fast compared to my old one. When I got yeah. my uh, MSI laptop from Exotic PC there, hmm, what, March or something like that? Yeah. Before I went uh, on my road trips to the, uh, the Ratcast. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that thing is just. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, but you know what I was a little disappointed in? Because whenever I get a new laptop, the thing I look forward to most is new laptop smell. Is it really a new laptop smell? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah there is. Fuck yeah. There is. Oh, and it is sexy. It's, it's smells a little bit like new stereo system smell. Oh, yeah. Yep. You know that? That's like uh, this uh, oh, musky, yeah. sexy mm -hmm, scent. Mm -hmm. Oh, stop. Yep. I love love the smell of pro audio equipment yeah when it's brand new but and i'm sure it's that what it is it's horrible chemicals that i shouldn't be sniffing <laughs> but yeah new laptop smell is it, it, every like eight years i get new laptops so that means i get new laptop smell and i would just go around like you know you open up the box and you pull the lid off and you're like <laughs> <laughs> yes you do oh, yeah. and then yeah. you just you stick your nose in it and it's like <laughs> You're just sucking it in because it's such a good smell. And oh, it's it's like new car smell, but it doesn't last nearly as long. I know. So, but yeah, the new good. the new uh, uh, Mac uh, uh, MacBook Pros, no new laptop smell. That's a bummer. I don't know if it's because of the solid state hardware, uh, solid state drive, or the whatever it is. It probably has to do with the solid state drive. But there's no new laptop smell. I was really it. disappointed. Yeah, if if the Kinect had would like smell o vision new smell laptop smell, oh, yeah, I would yeah. or new audio and, equipment, and you could yeah fart and send it uh, right. over Kinect. That'd be awesome. Oh, new that, that would be smell. like the the peak of human technology for you, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. It would if I could send a fart and and it would like go over to Nick's place and be like, oh man, the like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would never answer mail from you ever again. No, it would just come over to connect. You couldn't answer. It would just be just like I was talking. Like if you were in a chat room, but you'd be in a uh, a fight room. <laughs> no, no. I would never connect with you on Xbox. Ever. That's ever. Just, I would drop you from my friends just list. Just text messages. I hate farts so much. You don't seem to understand how much. I shouldn't tell Gully this because he will just oh. torture me with it. <laughs> I remember the conversation we had. Yeah. Yeah, that I had the boyfriend that used to Dutch oven me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but he'd do it every night and he'd do it repeatedly and thought it was After funny. A while. To, yeah, yeah. To, to the point of where it was actually abusive. It was yeah, it was truly 
truly abusive that he was holding me under to smell his farts every single night every single night yeah that's multiple times a night sometimes when i was asleep so it was it was really horrible it was a hor- horrifying experience and after that it's like the smell of someone's farts makes me want to punch them it makes me actually violent i'm i'm scarred by farts i have wow. ptfd <laughs> Wow, can we call you Gaseous Clay or what? I am Gaseous Clay. <laughs> That's a bummer, man. So farts have been ruined for you. Uh, farts are totally ruined, totally ruined for me. They, they, it's a, it's seriously, it goes into my brain stem and makes me want to. I don't even like going into the bathroom after Kevin's been in there. Oh, that's the best pot. You walk in and someone's like, whoa! <laughs> you yeah. the other room with a fist bump. You're like, yeah. No, no, yeah, no. no, 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 no. Hey, I Jason do Webb brought up a really good point. What if we could combine the connect, right? If I could send a fart over connect, and then when you got the whiff of it, you got the high def rumble on your controller. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And it rattled the subwoofer. That'd be awesome. Only if I could, I would actually start a service that was a punching service where you could connect to the service by connect and order a punch to be sent no, no, to somebody. So somebody no. could go and actually punch you in the face for it. Yes. No, I, no, I would totally be all okay, no, okay that's with that. Dumb. that. That's dumb. That's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> That's completely dumb. You're totally off topic, and you just, you wreck the story. That's what you do. You wreck. I do. You, every I do. time me and Nick have a, have a flow going, and it's a happening thing, you come in with something like that. I do. Yeah. A punch. I hate. I hate, I can't I hate the you smell can't of farts. Phys- you can't physically do that. Black but- Void says, "I do not understand the quote unquote appeal of flatulence. That's because you are a classy, classy man." No. No. No, that's because he got denied his man card. That's what happened. <laughs> when you get it back, you'll be laughing. That's not true. My my husband is all man. Hold on a second. Honey? I'm checking in. Honey? Kev, do you like the smell of farts? Survey says not particularly. <laughs> when, you, when you ask do you like the smell of farts, I keep thinking of that South Park episode. Which one? Well, all the people, episode. Yeah, all the people bought the, the the what was it, the electric cars and they thought they were so smug oh, and they smug. loved the smell of their own yeah. car. <laughs> yeah. Oh Tanya, Tanya posted that people. that uh, PS four locking up. Yeah, we heard about that. She's like, Yeah, you know, this is what you have to look forward to when you switch. Stop. <laughs> oh Tanya, yeah. I that agree. versus Same. the red ring of death. Tanya, stop. Yes, yes. Brown they, everybody brown. has their issues. Consoles you know, have, yeah, Tanya, consoles have. You, you, as a fellow female, I have to, you know, ask you to to join with me in stopping this conversation now. And it worked! Yay! No, no, it didn't. E R A E R A. What's that? Baseball? <laughs> yes, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> you should vote on it. It's baseball. So, um. Uh, did we decide on what our weekend game is going to be this week? Hmm. Fall Cry. I would love to go back and play some more Beast Mode. That was that yeah, was that was. I could do that. That was so great. Sure. Yeah. I've got um, I've got uh, uh, Kieran in the house. I'm I'm saving it to the weekend. Got who? Kieran. 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 Kieran Ichiban. Ichi Ichibam. Ichiban. Kieran, the, it's well, Kieran's it, Prime Beer, 100% malt, brewed for good times. I get itchy bum. So, yeah, no, I got uh, Kieran Japanese beer in the house. We're good for that. And, yeah. So. I am going to make a video, and I don't know if uh, Kelly Brown's still in the chat room, but I'm making a video on how to make a scorpion bowl, and I will post it on Facebook. Video of how <clears> to, she, oh, okay. She, she was like, you never showed me how to make a scorpion bowl. While we were playing Diner Dash. Oh. So I'm going to do a video on how to make a scorpion bowl. That'd be good. Put it up on Gamehouse Bids. I will. Cool. Yeah. I'll do that. I'll get up on Facebook. I'll get up on uh, whatever. Yeah. Uh, Black Star Void says I have to be at work this weekend, but I can beast mode next weekend. All right. Beast mode's always good. It's an always. It's a fallback. It's an it easy, is. It easy is. one. It is. It is. It's awesome. And Nick, and I don't know if I... you heard, Aliens, Aliens Colonial Marines is uh, $30.65 on sale. That's way too much. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm really hey, we gotta curious. um. No, whatever. no, don't even think about it, Edie. No, I'm gonna shoot you down now. Trust me, you will regret paying that much. Okay, all right. Wait until it's like ten bucks. Yeah. Did, it won't be did you bucks. see the Jimmy Fallon uh, part of his show? I guess it was sometime either early this week or late last week. Where I think it was actually during E3 when he had Video Game Week, and he plays uh, games uh, you shouldn't play. No, I like saw. A headline of that, but I never hilarious, on hilarious. <laughs> yeah, uh, everything from E. T. to uh, I can't remember what else. There was a couple of other ones, but E. T. was the one that was pretty funny. Yeah, worth watching. So do check that out. Have we run out of topics? I don't know. Yeah, I think we kind of never. Have. I think we kind of have. Dog says yes. Dog agrees <laughs> with me. <laughs> Good dog. I know. I might have to go down that uh, State of Decay. Check that out. Um, yeah, I'm going to probably boot it up. And I actually have to put a timer on myself because that's one of those games that could eat until 10 o'clock tonight. Like I really? Could... You can play it that long? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it, it, nothing happens quickly. So you just do a lot of just running around. It's that, very much that um, Skyrim thing. Or you just run around and look at stuff. Oh, yeah, okay. But there's a lot more things trying to kill you. But they're not that oh, hard. I, yeah. But they're really not that hard to, to kill. They're, they, they're... They're zombies. Zombies. And they're... Even when there's a lot of them, they're not that bad. Oh, best hint I can give you, dude. When you get into town... This actually helped me a lot. The best bit of advice I got. Don't forget that your most powerful weapon is a car. Yes, it is, t in a sense, cheating. But there's like these zombie hordes that run around and you can see them on your map. And if they see you and they're alerted, then they'll just swarm you. But what you do, and you get like points and, and respect for everybody if you kill a zombie horde. And if there's too many zombie hordes around your house, around your home base, everybody in the home base gets depressed because they're afraid because there's all these zombie hordes running around right outside the doors. So you're kind of, be, you have to go and get them, but they're hard to kill because there's so many of them and they're kind of frenzied. What you do is you just pull up in a car, go find a car somewhere, jump in, best to get a, um, one of the modern pickup trucks because they're heavier, jump in the car, drive up to where they are, and then honk your horn and it alerts the zombies. They all start running towards you and then you just plow through them with a the car. Takes them all out in like a second. Really? Yeah, and there's like you'll have houses. Cheating. Yeah, it was, it's not cheating, but it's not you know purist zombie fighting. Hey, yeah. no way. <laughs> yeah, running down zombies with the car it's, as classic zombie. Right, and uh, another way to do it uh, is the easy way. You'll have houses that have infestations with uh, screamers, and screamers are this one particular kind of zombie that will scream at the top of their lungs when they see you, and it will bring all the other zombies on top of you. So, if, especially if there's a zombie horde in the area, then you're fucked. So, what you do is, if you have a house that has a zombie infestation that's near your home base, so you need to clear it out, you drive up in a car, stand, sit in the front, honk your horn, and all the zombies come out of the windows. And you have to do it for quite some time to get the zombies to come out of the house. As they come out of the house, you run them over the car. And then, you jump out of the car... And you look to see, because it will show you up on the left-hand side whether the screen, how many screamers are in there and, and whether they're dead. And then if you don't see them, then you, you kind of look through all the windows, put a silencer on your gun, and shoot the, um, the screamers inside. So you can kill off all the screamers, not alert the zombies, and never even have to use any of your stamina to take out the zombies. Because you can't keep hitting because your stamina runs out. And then you get tired. Oh. Right. Fatigue is a huge part of this. That you can't just go whip and whip and whip and when you run out of stamina, if you run it all the way down, it takes off a little bit of your top stamina. So it's you actually being not just winded, but starting to get tired from being winded. Can you get that top stamina back? Uh you can get that top stamina back by going back to the home base and switching out your character and letting that character okay. take a nap. I like resting. Resting. And it takes a long time to rest it's real time in the game so you have to wait all night you have to let them sleep all night or sleep all day 
before they get rested. And if you call out scavengers to come pick up stuff, they will send out your guy. So it could be that your guy goes out and scavenges. You come back, you're exhausted, but he's also exhausted because you've been calling on scavengers the whole time. Um, but uh, the other way to get your stamina back is to take amphetamines or uh, drink a lot of uh, coffee if you find cold coffee. And you will find um, energy drinks. That's the low end. Trucker pills and amphetamines are the high end. Those will keep you going all night long and probably into the next day. It so- sounds like it's kind of complex. Oh, it's very complex. The more I'm listening, I'm like, yeah, you know, the more you talk about it, the more it's like, oh, boy. You'll like it. Here's the thing. is that it, it is rewarding. If It is a bit complex. That's why I said you have to kind of go on and, and figure stuff out by reading about it because they don't really explain the complexity to you very well. But once you've understood it, it's so rewarding because it is just such a fun go out and beat up zombies and having it's grand theft auto zombie style it's a bunch of little quests you know some of them are just little meaningless quick quests some of them are kind of important quests but they're all a bunch of missions that you need to complete and in between of all there's a lot of zombie killing in super fun and interesting ways Mm. kelly uh kelly brown says weird to come back to hear edith talking about meth (laughs) <laughs> yeah, she's been off that for what? A lot since like oh, yeah. four. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No more than two hours. Black Sphere Void says Screamer sounds like something that happens during an upgraded windmill. <laughs> it, it well, can, upgraded it, windmills it, can be dangerous. It does if you don't right. put it in the hole right away. No, it, no, here's the deal is that those don't exist. It's Bigfoot. Remember that. It's Bigfoot. It's Bioshock Infinite DLC. I don't know. The, the upgraded windmill exists. Oh, Black Sphere, that it's that one so bad. No, don't even I say it. I won't even nope. say it. No, nope. no, nope, not nope. even saying it on the air. No, 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 no. It's bad. All right. Well, I'm gonna go play uh, State of Decay for a couple of hours and then start working. Actually, the paying job. But yeah, right. play it tonight, dude. I was I was thinking about it. Just you know, like I said, do you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to go out and pick up GTA Four because I was I, I'm excited about GTA Five. Go do that. Yeah, that's about to be good. Because I, I had it, and obviously I think I get rid of it because I've obviously it's been a couple of years or whatever it is. So, but I was like, you know, the more I read about GTA Five, I'm like, oh man, this looks like it's going to be fun. There's 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 a couple of big games coming down the pipeline as uh, the Xbox 360 goes out in a blaze of glory. Let me tell you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Also, I- one thing I forgot to mention, but it's actually relevant now in Happy Endings. Uh, good old games is having like its summer sale, and for today, pretty much only today, uh, Torchlight is free. I saw that. Yeah. yeah. Where is it? It's an it's an older game. You know, older RPG. The yeah. sequel's already out. But, yeah. Hey, it's free. Where is this? Good old games. God. Oh, com. Oh yeah. Good old games. That's another one of those sites that just does really good things and makes me happy. Yeah. All right, well, uh, next week, by the way, don't forget, we're, we're only, how many days? Uh, six days away from, I guess it would be seven, huh? Because the 25th, we'll figure it out. Anyway, we're seven days away from um, Christmas in July. Um, the, um, no, I'm sorry, it's July 25th. Never mind, we're a month away. We have a month away from Christmas in July. Sorry. Um, Christmas in July in June. In June. <laughs> Christmas in July, July 25th. Christmas in July. Well, we will be giving away Steam codes to a mega fuck ton of games. So don't hesitate to uh, keep listening. We haven't decided how we're going to give it out, but we'll be doing some more stuff in the days coming where we'll explain. But. Also, I'm going to put this in the name of our shadow site for our um, forums. I'm going to put this one more time into our chat room. You guys, please uh, sign up for those forums. They are not real forums. They look just like the real forums. They will act, hopefully, just like the real forums. But I want you to stress test this. You are my beta testers. If it breaks, email me at gamehounds at gmail.com. 
um, or get a hold of me on Xbox. But best to email me because that way I'm sitting in front of the computer and I can go th- through these things one by one. Spe- very specific. If you break it or if something weird happens, tell me exactly what you were doing. Tell me exactly what the computer said back to you or didn't say back to you and when it happened. So I can suss out all of these bugs. So when we roll this out in the next couple of weeks, that it's going to be awesome. Do you so. know what I want to get here on uh, GOG? Hmm. Is uh, I, I played the, one of the longest games I've ever played was Ultima 3. Right. And it was Ultima 3 Exodus. And don't ask me why I got it, but I played it on the Commodore 64. Hmm. And it's you can get uh, 1, 2, and 3 for 3 bucks. On GOG. Wow. But the the only reason I'm hesitant to pick it up is because it took me a year to play it. Wow. It was just, I, you know, it wasn't every day, but it was a long time to play that game. Yeah. And I, there was, back in those days, there was no save and there was no checkpoints. So I re- I think I had played it for two months and I was in a battle and I and our party died, and you started over after two months. Oh, yeah. So what ended up happening is as you walked outside the cities, as you were walking from city to city, you know, you'd be in a battle and you'd win and you'd be you'd be all tired and all your hit points would be down. And then if you got into another battle right away, you didn't have the energy to fight it. So I used to have to shut off. The thing right in the middle of the game, so it wouldn't save. That's the only way. <laughs> right. I got through even the last battle. Get into the that's last. That's what Chris battle. used to do with um, Borderlands, the first oh, Borderlands. Oh God! When he would die, right. he would like, and before he respond, he would shut off the machine, just cold start it, cold I stop. Remember, it. I remember those times when like we would push him off the edge, <laughs> and he'd like, no, no! And click. Fire Ace has disconnected. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sucks. But you should get it anyway, if only because you now know how it's going to end. And, uh, you know, okay, so it takes you a year. It costs three bucks. Who cares? Yeah, I just don't know if I have the time. Just yeah. play it a little bit then. You don't have to play all of it. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm little here, th- little there. I'm thinking about it. I really am. I did have fun with it. But, I mean, the problem is you go back to play these games. It's like, oh, man, you know, the games is like Skyrim compared to Ultima 3. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather go back and play Skyrim again. I'd rather go chop some wood and, <laughs> you know, mine some ore or whatever the heck I was doing. Because th- that was half the fun with Skyrim was just going to your house and making stuff. Right. That right. was that was awesome. It was, you know, it was just, you didn't have to fight. I, that's what I liked about it. I, I don't want to always fight. Right. And you didn't have to fight all the time. Yeah. You could just... You know, in, what was that, that the main house there in uh, Sunnydale or whatever it was, a White Run or something like that? Mm-hmm. You had your house, and right around the corner, you know, you could go and and put in your your whatever your your stones or your silver or whatever, and, and you know, change it to something. I forget what they call smithing or was whatever it was, and that 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 made it fun. You know, and then you, there was other things you could do too beyond that, and I think even with some of the uh, the updates. In the DLC that they had that, that they made more of that. But what was the one thing you could do where you could what, have kids or I don't know what you could do. But there was different things you could do that weren't fighting related that really made Skyrim kind of fun. Yeah. yeah. Kelly in the uh, chat room wants to know, or Nick, are you going to Prime? Prime? PAX. Oh, yeah. Because I'm not. I don't see why not. Oh, do you know for sure? I know for sure. Uh, I'm. I've got a job. I gotta get paid. Gotta pay for the uh, MacBook Pro. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know what that is in response to what Kelly says. Kelly just wrote, "Have sex." <laughs> okay. I, Thank you. I will. Okay. Thanks yeah, for reminding that's... me. If it wasn't for you, <laughs> I never would have remembered that. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> Uh, Nick, Dave. What? <laughs> We're all family. For goodness sakes, Dave. Shut up, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, all right. 
So anyway, let's let's close this out because I do want to go play some games. I'm, before I'm closing to. it out right now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Slamming the door shut. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. All right, ladies. We will talk to you next week. Thanks so much again for listening no, to Happy Ending. You can't end it like this. You cannot <laughs> end the show like this. We are we are just got our second wind. And you're gonna do this. I wanna go play school. go play. I wanna go play. What? I wanna go play. <laughs> I I wanna, play. I've been doing You can waste time <laughs> with your friends. <laughs> And now you need to waste time with what? Oh, <laughs> Kelly's chatting more in the. Uh... Yeah, I just watched the first Queer Folk. We just did the. Uh, we did the first episode of the Estrocast that's coming out today. Later on, Dave would would curl up and die if he watched the first episode. I don't think he could get through the first ten minutes of the first episode of Queer Folk. Is it Queer boobs? Folk. No, it is a no. show about gay men. No. You yes, would. Yes, fully. There are lots of boobs. There are lots, lots of, of lot. Yeah, you there actually. Yeah, yeah, lots of boobs. End of the first episode. It's all boobs. It's <laughs> <laughs> the very end. It's right after the credits. Just keep watching. Oh <laughs> no! It is. Um, it is a lot of gay man sex. A lot of full frontal male nudity. It's kind of like Spartacus was. No, Spartacus. No, this was. It's actually. It's a really, really, really good show. Really good show. It was excellent. Um, excellent HBO show. I think it was HBO or Showtime. I can't remember. One of those. So yeah, it was a super, super, super good show. And then they had L Word right after, which was about lesbians, and it was not as good. Um, Kevin watched Queer as Folk the whole time, um, and then checked out of the l word because it was wasn't it got weird so yeah dave uh, uh <laughs> bless your voice says dave couldn't get through the first 10 minutes of the first estro cast that's probably true so really is it, is it that bad is it that girly uh, no no it's we're talking about lesbians but it's it's not the kind of lesbian talk you like to have <laughs> no no why 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 because you... it's more about the drama of the l word about the story and the plot and who's the bitch. Uh, Watch Queer as Folk right before you play Mount Your Friends. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, it's Mount Your Friends but without the, the bathing suits. That's what Queer as Folk is in many ways. <laughs> does, does it have climbing? Uh, probably. Can, can you I can't lose remember. Your, can it you... was like six or eight seasons. Does someone like lose their grip and fall to their death? No, nobody point? loses their grip and falls to their okay. death. Okay. Does someone lose their grip on anything? Oh, yes. Ah. Oh. oh, yes. So it so there is some mounting. There's a lot of gripping. Climbing. A lot of a lot of mounting, a lot, a lot of definitely gripping, a lot of mounting. mounting a lot of grip, climbing. Yes, a lot of gripping. Lots of gripping. Speedos. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, yes. And Kelly says, "And come. Thank you, Kelly, for being classy." <laughs> really? There's a little <laughs> A little jizz going on there? Oh, no, a lot of jizz. That that that, that shows so. They can't that. show that, can they? No, they don't. They don't show the jizzing. No, no, it's assumed. It's but just mayonnaise. <laughs> oh. God. All right, I want to go play. I'm going now. You guys can keep talking. Like I'm going to go in the other. You want? I just leave leave it. Should I just leave it open? Because I am going. Powdered donuts moments. You know when you have the powdered donut. Powdered you know? donut. Oh god, that makes me so hungry for donuts. Why did that just do that? I like donuts. Do you mm-hmm. know what I sometimes do? I go and I get a donut and then I get a cruller. Right. What is a cruller? It's like a long twisty donut. Okay. Oh yes. All right. Uh. And then I look at the lady and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make more donuts. <laughs> when a mommy donut loves a daddy donut very much. They make donut the, holes. We make munchkins. <laughs> Why don't you make that video? The stop action video of donuts <laughs> fucking and then and then she becomes a jelly donut, a really overstuffed jelly donut. And then she gives birth to little like, you know, uh, uh, donut, donut holes. holes in the jelly. You know, of course, when it you know comes out, it's the red. What was it raspberry filling with a donut hole in it? Aww. Happy family. Yes. 
Someone make that. I want to see that in stop motion. Somebody do that. <laughs> How to explain sex to your kids <laughs> yes. through, the, through the beauty of donuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you train cannibals. <laughs> All right. I am going to Oh, Krispy Kremes. Question. Krispy Kremes or Dunkin' Donuts? Krispy. Oh, Dunkin'. Krispy. No question. No which, question. Which are more creams. which are more fertile? Well, the Krispy Kremes <sighs> are very sweet and they're very messy. Right, and you walk into a Krispy Kreme um store and they hand you a Krispy Kreme. You have to do a Dunkin' Donuts and they hand you an attitude. No, Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kremes. Plain old super sweet Krispy Kremes. It's like eating a sundae for breakfast. It's awesome. Yeah, it is. Mm. If I can only eat like a half of one. It is really, really sweet. It yeah. really is. Yeah. I will say this, though. I had my first very, very fresh Dunkin' with Nick at the when we were going out to PAX East, when we were at the T5. In Terminal 5, uh, New York, remember? Nick? Yeah. Yeah. And that was the first time I've ever had a fresh, fresh Dunkin' Donut. It was really good. It was really good. When they're, like, warm, still warm from, from the, the, the fat, that, it was awesome. But, no, there's nothing like a Dunkin' Donut. Nothing like a Krispy Kreme. No, it's not. They're, they're very, very different. Mm. Very different. They used to sell Krispy Kremes at Giants, uh, the the Pac Bell Park. Oh man, and the little four pack, and it was like nine bucks for a pack of four. Ooh! Oh, and they were awesome. <laughs> You'd go. I just. I, it's the first time I ever had a Krispy Kreme, and it's like, oh, they're selling Krispy Kreme nine bucks. Yeah, I've never had them before. Sure, why not? It's at a ballpark, so I bought a pack, and I went down to my back to my seats. I'm sitting down. I'm like, oh yeah, I got four donuts and Kevin's like eh, yeah I could have one and I took one bite and I'm like get away my donut <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like holy shit these are good yeah, yeah. oh my god I just piled through them and then after that it's a that, party ugh, in your mouth ugh, they ugh, are good that, I, that I glaze just melts in your they mouth too, yeah but I, I, I take a bite and I shudder yeah I it's, do, my body shudders from all the sugar yeah and it's like, ah, ha, ha, that's plenty. That's all right. That's plenty. That's only the One first bite. bite. First bite. Second bite, he goes down easy. goes down smooth. Oh, smooth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's going to be a new catchphrase. Is the game Krispy Kreme? Uh, they have key lime donuts at Krispy Kreme. See, we don't have Krispy Kremes that much anymore. Do we have any Krispy Kremes in the area? No, they get they get rid of the one over here. Uh, yeah, they they shut down all, the, pretty much the all the ones in California. The best donut, though, Duncan had one. And it was a uh, picture of a jelly donut, okay, but without that granulated sugar on it. So you had the doughy donut, and it was like powdered on the outside, and the inside was the white vanilla cream. Mm -hmm. That was the best donut. Oh, it was. It wasn't like a Boston cream yellowy. It was. It was like a white, almost like whipped cream in the middle of this donut. The best with the the powdered sugar, not the granulated sugar. Forget it. Forget it. Okay. Yes, that they do still have Krispy Kremes. There's one in Concord, Union City, San Jose. Oh, really? That one in Union City is still there? Yeah, the one in Concord is still there, too. And then uh, uh, Daly City, Mountain View, San Jose, and two in Stockton, apparently. <laughs> Says a lot for Stockton. <laughs> they closed them all except the two in Stockton. And then next close is Sacramento and Rockland. <clears throat> but yeah, most of the Krispy Kremes. I mean, they were everywhere here in the Bay Area. They all shut down. Mm. But yeah, that's almost a reason. In fact, you know, Nick, one of these days, you should drive up to meet me. And I should drive up to meet you. We'll meet halfway. You bring the Krispy Kremes. I will bring the Jack in the Box tacos. Those don't really go together, though. Oh, yes, they no, do. No, no, they don't. Krispy Kremes and Jack in the Box tacos. Tacos and donuts. <laughs> Not. Sounds like our next podcast. <laughs> tacos and donuts. <laughs> That's like lobsters stuffed with tacos. Yeah. Hey, speaking of tacos and donuts, Goli, are you going to be in um, Long Beach anytime soon? Oh, boy. Uh if I am, it'll be somewhere between December and March. Perfect. Perfect. 
need to come out a day or, earlier, so. Well, let me see. We can go to Disneyland. No, uh, yeah. Because I, because I, I have, I can get you in to Disneyland now. <laughs> you, you want, you want, you want to hear a funny, uh-huh. funny Disneyland story? <clears throat> we went down to Florida many, many years ago, me and Sharon, because she had a friend down there. So we. We fly in and, and she picks us up and she's like an hour from Orlando and we we get in like at one. Mm-hmm. It just after it was just a long shitty flight, so we, we we get back to her house like two in the morning, pitch black in Florida. Don't know where we are. We're starving, and uh, there's no food in the house. Like I think they had like a half a donut on the counter. Like we were starving, so we, we like it's like do you have any food here? Oh, not really. How do you have no food now? How do you have people down to your house? And not have anything for him. Yeah. So that was weird. So we get up and, you know, we I think we went out to breakfast, did whatever. So I'm like, what, what should we do today? Oh, we got passes to get into Disneyland or Disney World, whatever it is down in Orlando. Perfect, right? So we make the long one hour or so drive to get all the way to Disney World, right? So we get up there and the lines had just started to form to get in. And they're like, well, we'll see you guys inside. What do you mean? Well, I told you we had passes, so we're going to take our passes and go in. <laughs> oh. And I'm like, are you kidding me? You, 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 this is a joke, right? And they start to go in, and I look. It was 90 bucks a person yeah. to get in at the gate. I look at it and go, we have $200 for the rest of the weekend. Do you want to spend 180 walking in this door? And then we do nothing else. We don't even eat. So, like, we grab them before they went through the turnstile and says, um, guess what? Uh, we ain't going in. You know, when when you said we have passes or we have whatever they had, yeah, for residents had passes and they get in for free. Right. Why would you Why would you tell somebody that? Right. Oh, yeah, we, we get passes. Right. Like, wouldn't you think that was an all-in collective right. type of we, thing? Right, we meaning we. We, <sighs> the group, we, we can get you in, not – it's like, yeah, hey, great. Uh, we get tickets for the Bruins game tonight. We show, we show up. Well, we'll see you guys inside. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, yeah. that is – Okay, oh. here's the deal. I I have passes, and I I have a pass that I could take three other people with me. So you would come in with me. You are not going to be in that situation. I would never do that to you. I know. I mean, it but, was so so awkward that these people would do that. Oh, and hold then, on and a then, second. Hold on a second. Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking yeah, news. Yeah, what's up with that? Microsoft to backtrack on Xbox One games, DRM, and always online. This has just released. Um, it is on What Hi-Fi, the world's most trusted tech reviews, which I've never really heard of, but okay. <laughs> uh, clearly the most trusted. Clearly. Microsoft is set to announce it will remove DRM restrictions on Xbox One games and the need for you to have the new Xbox Always Online. Sources tell WhatHiFi.com that Microsoft is set to announce the changes later today with game developers being informed first. The Xbox One was announced last week at E3 alongside the PS4 with Sony's new PlayStation drawing first blood thanks to the higher Xbox One price and apparent restrictions surrounding the games and offline play. Microsoft announced that users would need to connect to Xbox One to the internet every 24 hours Blah, 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 blah. DRM uh, would also seemingly restrict you from sharing Xbox One games with friends and indeed selling them on second hand. Sony is quick to capitalize, blah, blah, blah. It seems Microsoft has listened to listened and is set to change its mind on both DRM and Xbox One games and, and the always on requirement. We have contacted Microsoft for comment. Uh, oh, well, I'll again, it when I actually is, see yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. We'll, we'll wait and see, but you, that's what we talked about. There's, unless they take the stance that look, you know, our our, our Xbox people will come to us no matter what, and that is gonna. This is where they want to be. Like you're saying, Sony wants Sony came to us, and Xbox wants us to go to them. Yep. Is, is is what's happening? Right. Well, we, we'll bet. see. Uh, today is the day. We're just gonna have to keep our eyes on yeah. it and see if that's true because they're saying the, it's being released late, being announced later today. I'm I'm really doubtful, and the reason is because so much of what people don't like is integral to what their console is. Right. Like, it wants to be a digital-only platform, but it has to incorporate physical media, and that's where the problem comes from. Right. So much of what the restrictions are are necessary in order to incorporate physical media into what they want to be an all-digital platform. Right. They would have to completely restructure the entire business model, and yeah. that they're not going to do. Yeah, at least so, not in, you know yeah, a week that's, later. That's like changing basically what that whole thing's about. Yeah, 
Yeah. It really so, is. That that's a huge deal. That would be cool, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Yeah. We'll see. Well, they may make changes. Well, they just said they are going to announce changes. They're that's not true. going that's to true. get rid of them. So well, at they, this point, and I said this, they are going to have to tweak it because right now they're dead in the water. If things stand the way they stand, at this point things are so confusing. They could just clarify things and announce it has a change. <laughs> <laughs> and I, hey, it would it would sound cool to me right. because because it's so confusing. Right. Who knows what's even going on? Right. Well, you know, bottom line is they're they're going to do the thing that. I said they were going to do is they're going to have to make some changes or at least get stuff straightened around before these things hit the market um, in earnest because they're not going to survive. The Xbox won't survive this. So, yeah, the, well, yeah, yep. yeah, yep. yeah, well, yeah, read that article, reading that article there. It's not like they're backtracking change. And that's one thing we talked about is can they do it in time? If they, they want to release I, the thing in November, can they? Do it in time. Yeah, you know what? It depends on what they do. It all know, what, depends. What do they have True. to do? If they say you don't have to check in to play your game, or you don't have to be online, I mean, what is it that they physically have to do to make this happen? If what they made it? the Xbox free, I'd forgive everything. They <laughs> no, no, you don't want that. You don't want. You don't want it for free. Because when cause, you know they have that discounted Xbox and you're stuck paying for the service, that that costs you more over time. Yeah. So free stuff is not good. It it really isn't because it's never free. True. There's always something tied into yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So I would rather pay for something outright. Like even the apps on my phone that I got. Do you buy your car pay... or do you lease your cars? Huh? Do you buy your cars or do you lease your cars? I buy now. I I did lease for a while. Yeah, and they were charging me a hundred dollars a month on top of my car payment just to lease it. Yep. And I was like, "What? What is this? What is this? How come it's a hundred bucks a month? Oh, that's the lease fee." The official oh, site God. has crashed. You mean the official Microsoft site or what HiFi site? Because I've already pulled it up. The official site, officialsite.com. dot <laughs> com. Well, that site of the what HiFi is still up. Xbox is up. My, wow, I my, feel like I'm breaking news. I know. My, my friends is down. What? Oh, oh, speaking of which, I want to go play. <laughs> oh, the Xbox site. Oh. No, the Xbox is up. I might not. Maybe your internet's crashed. Xbox.com? <sighs> nope, it's up. I have no problem with it. Yeah, I'm looking at my profile. Yeah, I haven't signed in. But oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. My I went to Xbox and says huge announcement coming. Where? On Xbox.com. Xbox.com, it doesn't say that. It says you're all fucked. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got nothing. Uh yeah. News.xbox.com. Whatever. Service is unavailable. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> Quick calls the ambulance. Wee you, wee you, wee you, wee you. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna go play, and then we'll keep our eyes open to this to this thing. But it looks yep. like changes are gonna be had. But I don't think they're gonna be as big a changes as Goalie hopes it's gonna be. Well, there's still time. I don't know if, like I say, that they have to abandon their their model. They have to abandon their strategy. Um. Yeah, you would have to see it just completely wiped away. I, that's not going to happen. But they're going to change something. There is five or six major issues, and I put them up on Facebook this week. If, if if two or three of those could be addressed, I mean, I would I could work around the connect, and I would if some of the eight other major issues were taken care of, or if they get rid of the connect, I may work around some of the other issues. But just when you combine them all together, when you have a shit salad. And there's just all these different kinds of shit. It's too much shit. You would be willing to have little bits of shit in there, but yes. I understand you that don't it, want a shit salad yeah. made entirely mm -hmm. of shit. Yeah, I mean the I'm PlayStation okay with the little rats. But the thing, the, the, the PlayStation Four is everything I want. Right, it really is. But I don't want to go PlayStation because I like the Xbox. I just do. Yeah. But if the Xbox is going to be what it is, then PlayStation is what I want. 
But if Xbox starts banging down some of these mandatory items, then... Yep. We'll see. We'll see. It's uh, News is going to have to be forthcoming pretty soon if that would... Uh, yeah, what I look hi-fi. forward to it. Like, yep. Next gen. It's fun. <laughs> it really is. It's cool. It's been a long time since it's been like a console war. Yeah, yeah. I forgot how fun it was. Exciting. About how yeah. things can change every single day. So, all right. I, I, I'm, I keep... Yeah, I keep trying to refresh, and it's yeah. So there must be something. Everybody must be grabbing that news story there. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I'm gonna go play. You guys, you, you want me to work. leave this on? Because I can. No, no I gotta. Wait, I gotta wait work. it's starting okay. to load. It's starting to load. No, I, I have to go work anyway. No, so. no joke. It is. I'm off the main screen. It's starting to load now. I, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Well, you go ahead, Nick. Yeah. And I'll, I'm gonna go too. Okay. All right. Talk to you guys uh, later. I, we'll uh, we'll keep you posted. Um, check out the Facebook page, and when news happens, as soon as we see yep. it, we'll put it up on the Facebook page. Eating will we'll probably get on Spreaker when the news. We'll be Spreaker in a couple hours. Yeah. We will <laughs> stay tuned for breaking news. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye. 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 Bye.